Hi, Replay viewers. Yay, I'm so glad you're here for Dead Old Lady Readings. Don't leave because you may see, oh my gosh, what did I miss? I sh What's the point of even watching? I didn't get to ask a question. No, stay here because your questions likely will be answered. So welcome. I'm so happy you're here. We're going to have a really fun time. So welcome to the Cafeteria of Love. I'm Reverend Lunch Lady. And today we are going to gather in this unicorn pasture. Hello. Hi. And I say that metaphorically because this is a place where we can break through those things that we think are barriers and get a new perspective. I know I'm actually in the kitchen today. Typically, I am not. Yes. Oh my gosh, Mandy's in her kitchen. That's so awesome. So yes, speaking of, you're probably wondering, okay, here are some frequently asked questions. Well, first of all, if you're joining, will you say hello in the comments? I love seeing who's here. And we'll give it a minute for more people to join. But while you're joining, if you've never been here before, then welcome. Um, this is an opportunity for those of you who may be hungry for love, maybe craving something different in your dating life. Maybe you really are like longing for uh, some clarity that uh, you need in order to move forward in your love life. Yay. Um, <laughs> so this is where you can bring your questions you, and we will invite the dead old ladies to answer them. So if you don't know what that means, no big deal. Let me introduce you. The dead old ladies are here. They're ready to speak to us through our vintage recipe cards. And this is real. So those of you who are going, she calls herself Reverend Lunch Lady. How pretentious is that? Well, here's the deal. Guess what? Fun fact. I'm a reverend for real. And I also was a lunch lady. So there you go. Um, if you, yay, okay, some people are already asking questions. Gretchen's here. Oh my God, for some celery aspect. <laughs> um, awesome, Mariah, Dory, Steph. Okay, cool. I don't know why the numbers keep going all over the place. I'm addicted to watching the cat in the kitchen you posted. I know, I was watching it too. It's kind of addictive. Um, so today, Interestingly enough, so I decided that I wanted to move down and actually report to you from the kitchen. So welcome to Reverend Lunch Lady's Kitchen. And um, interestingly enough, when I was gathering the dead old ladies, I ran into this one dead old lady who I couldn't remember her name. I, I cannot remember her name. So I don't know. I'm just sharing it because I felt a little awkward about that. And uh, let's just hope. I, I can't tell if I'm not remembering it because she's deciding she wants to change her name. So she's like deleting it from my head. I don't know. Okay. Who said that they're here for the first time? If you're here for the first time, say hello, but also put your name because I want to see that too. So how do we do this process? So Today, we're going to be receiving the greatest wisdom. It's really the universal wisdom of love from the ones that know it the best. And that's from our grandmothers, our great grandmothers, random dead old ladies, and then a whole beautiful community of um, dead lunch ladies, which, you know, when you're on the other side, the beauty of this, this is real. I mean, this is this is sacred text where from the other side, the truth is no. The truth is known. Guess what? From the other side, there are no fears. There's no barriers. There's no confusion. There's no overwhelm. There's no 
drama or trauma, we just get to the core. So we will let the recipes reveal through me what it is that they want you to know. And keep in mind when you ask a question, it's not just your question, it's everybody's question. So um, any of you who see a question or hear a question that's similar to your question, really know that that's the answer to your question too. So um, it's not so specific individually, but hey, good news is any of you who've been participating in the five day camp and you get entered into the raffle, I am actually raffling off a whole bunch of one-on-one -on -one dead old lady readings. Those are really powerful because then we have a little more time to really go through and let the, the dead old lady speak directly to you. So Karen is here first time. Shivanti's here. Oh my God. Yay. Okay. So happy. Oh my gosh, already having questions. So here's a guide for asking questions. The guide for what I call the kitchen guidelines are, because you're noticing that I'm like tossing around the spoon, is that you wanna keep your questions open-ended. We're not looking for the yes or no questions. You're not looking for the, does Tony Shigamani love me? We're not looking for, um, you know, am I gonna meet my person next week? These are yes or no questions. We want questions that kind of open up to the space where we actually can receive uh, more depth. Dolores is here today. Thank you. Oh, yes. Frequently asked questions. Why are you wearing that crazy hat? Thank you, Nikki. Nikki um, lovingly noted that I wear proper PPE in the kitchen, and that's true. It's smart, it's healthy, and um, this is my hairnet. So in the kitchen, you you should generally wear a hairnet so you don't find purple hairs in your jello salad. Um, and you may see little critters running around. I noticed that <laughs> when I was setting up, they kept like doing a hi in the corner. Um, that's gonna happen. Okay, Dolores is here today. Let's introduce Dolores. Here's Dolores, yay. Um, here is Lydia. Uh, here is, Diane is in the house. Woo, woo. Uh, say hello to Betty. Betty has a twin sister. She did not come home last night. <laughs> um, here is Karen from Finance accounting um and here's abigail okay is that everyone that's everyone who's here today um there's a lot more ladies but hey um so we will we will dive in with a general question for the group so you can start seeing how this goes and then we will um go into your questions so because someone you know what, I'm saving Dolores because I feel like whoever asked if Dolores is here today may want her to read. And they can read more than once. But I'm feeling Betty is our opening. Betty's adorable. Yeah, Betty's twin sister we just call New Girl, but I couldn't find her. She didn't come home last night. What? All right. So let's go here. So really, I just kind of go in, I pretend like I'm shuffling. I'm kind of like tarot. I say kind of like tarot, but with more butter. Um, and then we'll just pick a card for the community. And for many of you who are in the super love group, we're doing a 30 days of trust. Um, and this is part of the program. And it's kind of fun because uh, I like to do a general one around that. Oh, wow. I... I, oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Okay, I always do that. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay, so, woo! All right, what is this? Okay, this is an interesting one. Cocoa nut crisps, and then on the other side, cherry drops. See how it flips just like that? If you flip it this way, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Flip it this way, it works. So, 
cherry drops, coconut crisps, what they're actually bringing into the space immediately is, oh my God, where are you locked into one point of view? Maybe it's about dating. Maybe it's about what you can have. Maybe it's, um, I'll tell you how it translates in, in the trust world, but um, so everybody right now, begin to tune into a space in your life where you have decided something is true. You've decided that um, this can't work. You decided this absolutely has to work. There's kind of an absolute thing to it. Maybe um, that this is the way you make money and I have to make more money in my job. And what if there's other things? So this is really kind of inviting in a different way because notice like this turns things upside down you have to kind of flip it in a different way so what in your life can you um just say hmm and usually the question there which you hear me say all the time is well what else is possible here that i haven't considered so somewhere people that is Oh, there's an interesting point of view. I don't eat sugar. No one will date me for that reason. That is hilarious. Woo, I don't have my little toilet down here, but will you please destroy and uncreate that right now? Um, how many ways do you keep yourself single with these limitations? How many ways do you kind of benefit from that? You know, where you, um, you get to be right about never finding a relationship because you've locked into these ideas. No one will date someone who doesn't eat sugar. Please tell me that's kind of amusing now once you write it down. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, yes, somebody says, totally got the Hollywood Squares visual with the DL Wells waiting for their turn. It's so true. I actually notice every time I come back to doing these sessions when I go to the space where they all hang out. I'm like, wow, some of them are really louder than others. Like Karen and Diane were like, um, excuse me, uh, I have something to say today. Hi, Joy, so glad you're here. Deborah's here, awesome. Oh my goodness. All right, so hopefully she says, would love any general advice. Good, all of these will be really powerful for you then, I'm sure. So, uh, okay. All right, everyone, let's dive in. So post your questions in the feed and, you know, I may, and uh, you know what? And I really wanna encourage you, everyone, be engaged. This is about energy. Your energy brings up the energy of the dead old ladies and mine and really helps me to feel connected to you. Um, it's a real thing. So uh, please do um, say, yes, I relate to that. No, I don't relate to that or whatever is coming up. Oh my God, um, my grandma's name's Dolores or anything that comes up because that uh, is also something that happens there's going to be a lot of names that will pop and if you have a, a connection to that name know that that actually is a hello from from that person okay um i am going to go in my only question is what does the energy and frequency of love want me to know my life has been rough and i cry like every day so you know ha 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 okay what's in there okay oh my gosh yay hi mindy okay who posted that question i am gonna pull a card for you Oh my gosh, who did I just pull this card from? Oh, that was Betty. Okay, I like to put them back in the same thing. Um, okay, so I I just wanna see who wants to talk. 
actually Abigail's wanting to talk for whoever just oh Victoria okay okay let's see Victoria thank you for being here she is definitely um, an OG in the kitchen Victoria's one of the first uh, lovely ladies that met me in the kitchen years ago very special okay mm. all right Victoria okay so how many of you can relate to that question where it feels like things are rough and you're just kind of wondering like you know what what gives I mean that's kind of how I'm interpreting that question if I'm getting it wrong let me know but it's like when things are really rough and you, you know that it's emotional and it's like okay well what does love want me to know right now okay so apple butter bread all caps very lovely typed in order i love it when they say over so this is really kind of cool so there is a, an energy of you are coming to the edge of this that's what they're showing me they're coming that you're coming to the edge and that this this releasing is not just for you it's not just for you this is for a lot of I'm really seeing sort of an ancestral thing so oftentimes when we find we're, we're releasing a lot there's a lot of tears that that's you know if we can be kind and gentle with ourselves so this literally has butter in the title that's just like a real creamy good nurturing yumminess so can you be so gentle with yourself and anywhere where you have been making the crying wrong or a problem um will you please destroy and uncreate that right now flush <laughs> Oh my gosh, can you even hear me? My mic microphone's way over there. Um, oh, I don't even know if I'm using that one. Okay, whatever. Um, tell me how well you can hear me. Um, so anyway, so this is really good. It's got um, it's got already done prepared biscuit biscuit mix in it. And to me, that just shows that there is, is like this core, like you've got to come back to what works for you. In the 30 days of trust we've been talking a little bit about that sense of base camp it's like aligning and arriving in you and you know the apples are the sweetness they are um really like they've got a lot of magic to them apples are are like sacred so okay good um so victoria and anyone else who's been feeling stuck what can you do to kind of relax into the releasing and let it even come out even more so if there's anywhere where you're holding it back or resisting it or like oh my god why are you doing that like letting go of any of that kind of judgment and letting it all flow out letting it release knowing that um some of these tears are tears that weren't cried for your ancestors and beyond. So woo woo, I know. I just, I'm just saying what they're saying. So, um, but the, the, so the big message is gentleness. That is the love. That's the frequency that is being invited in. Okay, who else could, needed to hear that? This is when I want you to post in the comments um wow like and you may even tears may even come up this morning post in the comments how that was who else needed apple butter bread yes yes okay love that reading okay awesome all right i know that i probably missed some way up here okay so i see someone saying i'd love some clarity on giving up and moving on or digging in and figuring it out whoever asked that question let me know put your name in there the dead old ladies do like to have your name
Um, okay, so I'm coming back here, coming back here. My only question, oh, I already did that. Um, okay. Kim says, I found myself on a spontaneous date last night and it was amazing. Yay! Love that. After really being committed to the five-day camp, look at how your love vibe worked for you. Okay. Okay. Dear DOLs. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, tearing up, gentleness and love. You're not, yeah, the key is you're not doing it wrong. Crying is not, we can make that wrong. We can make it bad. We can make it like, oh my God, there's a problem. And just know, it said, it said at the bottom of that card over, which tells me that it's almost, you're almost through that. Um, okay. And this is stuff. Okay. All right. Now I need to figure out which question that was again. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay. Steph, will you put, put your question and your name in the same thing so that I can see, or you can click the, um, stream your thing above so it shows your name oh i see you okay that i know i know this is you stuff so forget it i got it okay dear dead old ladies i'm seeing a really great man feel we are both holding back how do i get him to open up without feeling like i'm dragging it out of him that is such a good question wow i'm feeling mm. I'm feeling Karen. She's funny because she sort of seems like the kind that you would have to like drag things out of her. Nope. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even bring Molly Brown down here. That's kind of, that's probably telling that we don't need any Molly Brown energy down here. Um, okay. So here we go, Steph. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh. You are going to crack up i i i'm speechless okay anyway saucy appetizer franks microwave um so here we go saucy appetizer franks I'm just going to give that a minute <laughs> for it to land. <laughs> oh, wow. Chili sauce, brown sugar, bourbon, ground ginger, mustard. Oh, my God. All the spice, all the heat, all the like. <sighs> there is. I mean, this is just Frank. Frank. I mean hot dogs alone like let's you guys when you ask a question about a great man and then hot dogs comes up it's just it's too good saucy i can't even i'm kind of like cracking up anyway all right so that whole energy of this is loosening up it is like getting more playful. It is bringing some kind of sexy into it. It is like trusting that, you know, you can be, and it's funny because they've never done this before with the hot dog thing. Usually, you know, it's kind of direct shot on the penis, but anyway, it's there. She's talking about, you know, not hold, literally not holding back, like being Frank microwave. That's the quickest thing. It's like, what are you not saying or, or playing with? Or how can you actually do something different or even ask for that? Like, be like, wow, you know, what can we do? Like, is it um, playing a game? Is it, and I don't mean like a game, like make up a sexy game. Is it... Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot there's there's something here with like the sort of edge, like go beyond the edge and 
really bring things into it to actually add the spice. I mean, this is all onions, sugar, chili, mustard, you know, oh my goodness. And it literally says saucy. So, you know, saucy appetizer, foreplay, hello, like playing with, you know, the things that may not be. So wherever you're doing this sort of business as usual, this is the nice good girl thing to do destroy and uncreate it because um it sounds like you if you have the sense of holding back then you are aware of holding back whether it's you or the other person you can speak to it you can speak to i just feel like there's something more here like what can we do to sort of um stir things up to spice things up i told you she's not boring Oh my gosh, Mia's here for the hot dogs. I know. Stephanie is laughing so hard. Yeah. I just can't make this up. I mean, really? Hi, Valerie. Yay. Oh my goodness. Really? I just am dying. Um, okay. Yay. Okay. Yeah, somebody said. Mariah asked a question on clarity. Okay, I'm going to go back up and find that one. Okay. I'd love some clarity on giving up and moving on or digging in and figuring it out. Okay. I'm going to go with Lydia for that one. So Mariah, hopefully you're still here. Are you still here? Say hello. All right. Okay. Chocolate fluff cookies. Mm-hmm. Plain and fancy cooking. Oh, goodness. Well, first of all, your question is a little tricky because I already know that if you're here in this group, group in this community, that there's a pull from your heart saying, I would love to have someone to share your life with. Bottom line is if you have that, then you can have that. And it is basically a straight answer of, no, you don't give up. You never give up. You never give up on you. So you have to look at which one feels lighter and which one feels heavier. If you say, okay, giving it up and figuring it out. I was there too. I reached a point in my life where my question was, the crossroads was, do I just throw in the towel and just like make single good, you know, because there was plenty of good things in my life or do I figure it out? And I'm telling you um, that chocolate fluff, fluff cookies, anytime when we get like a dessert, a sweetness, it's always going for that like sweet, sweet end. And so whatever is the true desire is what you um, can have. Chocolate fluff cookies. How can you follow the lightness? Yeah, it may feel heavy to think about um, how you get there or like where is this person or the inner critics can come in and put in that not good enough or, you know, this is too hard and all of the sort of sad stories but be aware of that because those are the lies the truth is the actual um space that kind of peaks that like oh oh wow you know and i and i know i know that it's easy to want to give up when 
when things aren't happening right away. But, you know, it kind of goes back to a little bit of you have to meet people if you want to meet someone, you know, if, and, and finding ways that that's fun for you. So who else out there has had that feeling? Yeah, chocolate fluff cookies, which is so cute. Fluff, I love anything fluffy. Um, yeah, so it also says clean and dependable because this is sponsored by the gas company. <laughs> so it's like, okay, you know, put the, put the, um, Put the foot on the pedal, give it a little more gas, and that's, you know, moving forward. It's just a choice for the greater vision. And it takes doing something different. I keep saying, I've been saying this to a lot of people this week. It's like, would you rather be uncomfortable sort of stuck and wondering? Or would you rather be uncomfortable trying something different that actually can lead you to your results? And sometimes meeting new people is uncomfortable. Sometimes, you know, dating is uncomfortable, but you can learn different ways. Okay. Please tell me that was, that gave you something. <laughs> okay. Wow. We've got a lot of questions. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Karen, how can I turn my energy to believe I will find someone who's excited about clean energy, clean eating? Start looking at all the people who like clean eating. I'm not even pulling a card because um, that's one of those smacks. How can I turn my energy to believe I will find someone who's excited about clean eating? What, you don't know any other people who like to eat cleanly? I promise you like 90% of the people in this group do. And I know there's mostly women here, but you get to decide what all things mean. If you've decided you live in a world where there's only McDonald's eaters or whatever you, you call the non-clean eating, then you get to have that. I hope that was helpful. Sometimes Urban Lunch Lady rips the Band-Aid off. Okay. Okay, yes. Okay. Um, okay, here's another one. I feel torn between the relationship I have that takes a lot of time and energy in my soul mission work and my soul mission work. In the last year, the relationship has taken so much time and energy, lots of deep healing happening on a personal level. However, how do I get back into my work fully and also have a relationship that is not all consuming? Who posted that one? Okay, I'm going to go for Dolores. Sorry, I can't see. Who posted that longer one? Post in the comments. And if you've already asked a question, let's do one. Okay. Shannon. Which Shannon? Shannon who? Okay. Anyway, I am diving in. Oh, oh, did I tell you I'm pulling from Dolores? Okay. Hold on. She's got an interesting situation. 
Oh, okay. All right, you guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. Somebody's grandmother's here for sure. Who's Aunt Florence? Oh, yay. Shannon's. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, I was kind of hoping to. Okay, Aunt Florence. It may not be your grandma or your aunt, Shannon specifically, but who it, wh whoever this is. Anyway, it even says Bob's mother, so you may even have a Bob in your family. Anyway, okay, so Aunt Florence's orange cookies. Whoa! So there's like this citrus, there's a sweetness, so there's a freshness. <sighs> they're just, they're asking you to... There's something about this that they're, they're showing that you have mission here, relationship here, and there, there's like an energy of solidity with those two, both of them. So, and I can speak to you in this way probably, but what they're, what they're actually inviting you to do is to expand your being out. Yes, somebody else says, oh my gosh, so people are, uh, yay, say hello to your relatives, everyone. Um, so expanding out, Shannon, so any of you who are feeling like there's a sort of this and a that, there's, I'm getting this sense, it's almost like that feeling that you get in your body when you like had that kind of gut bomb meal, but there's two, two of these. So right now, taking a deep breath, and letting your spirit, your energy expand way out. So as you expand way out, the solidity of it will begin to soften so that it becomes more of space. So sometimes when it feels like this heaviness of like, oh, this or that, this or that. It's because, you know, what we know about that um, doesn't have enough space to live. Sounds weird, but you just got to make your energy bigger. Be aware, like be, have a bigger space to hold all of this. And then when you have the bigger space to hold all of this, it begins to start um, dancing together a little more. So... I know how you, um, I know you do a lot of energy work. So just be aware of it because there's something that's in here that has become sort of solid when it doesn't have to be. So anywhere where there's a solidity, a, um, a definition, a, stuckness will you please destroy and uncreate that right now yes or no and any of you who are feeling that too even mariah with your question like notice that like you're you're in this place of it has it's either this or it's either this so like get into space so for people who um you know it's a it's a creative space go into the space of creativity go into the space of you know nature nature is just like keeps going keeps going keeps going i hope that lands and makes sense if it doesn't we can pull another card maybe okay um yay so that's a orange cookies and then there's a freshness to it it's like um orange is such a powerful thing because you know in this you're using the rind you're using a little of the juice and it's just like pow it's just like there and um there's like there's the sense of oneness it's like everything then has this super freshness to it okay that was dolores wow she doesn't usually talk like that Okay. She has very few recipes that look like that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to jump to Mindy. Yeah. Ooh. 
Okay. Shannon, let me know. Um, Mariah says that lands well for me. Yay. Um, okay, where's Mindy's? Okay, there it is. Mindy says, Love Camp has made me think about my beliefs about my lovability that have permeated so much of my life. I've done a lot of work on myself and I've come a long way. How do I know if it's enough? Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. Okay, um, they're already talking. Okay, I'm gonna pull from Abigail. First of all, anytime we go into the, is it enough, is it enough? It's a not enough critic. So just be aware of where you go into judgment around that, just know you're always enough, like you're always enough. Okay, so I'm pulling from Abigail right now. We're going to get specifically. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. All right. Okay. Wow. Okay. You got... This is hilarious. I have to read it because the title's so funny. Okay. Mystery dessert. And note, second item, can of fruit cocktail juice included. Well, that's not really a mystery now, is it? <laughs> um, okay. So, gosh. It's so funny because it's like they're showing me that yeah there's no the future is you know you can't even you can't put a name on it you know because you're asking how do i you know i've come a long way it's kind of like do i have more to do in the future they're like who cares you know it's irrelevant like we so then the title there but then we go into um basically what they're showing me is that you don't need to even know that like you just be you you're enough right now and we're constantly evolving so we're constantly going from one level of consciousness to the next level of consciousness to the next level of consciousness and how much fun can you have with that it's like learning growing learning growing expanding growing expanding growing um yeah, it's funny because she really changed, like she goes from like no definition really to like some of these, first of all, fruit cocktail is kind of an interesting one too because the way they they communicate with, with um, stuff like that where it's so consistent, right? Have you ever had a... Uh, uh, bowl of fruit cocktail from a can that didn't taste like the same fruit cocktail from a can you had like when you were in elementary school and i'm sure like a lot of you probably aren't buying fruit cocktail in the can anyway but um but it always tastes the same so it's like what can you do to remind you that's the same all the time and that's your worthiness your worthiness is that thing when we have these things that come off the shelf, it's like, it's that thing that you can always count on. You by being human are enough. You by being human on this planet are worthy. And then it's kind of interesting because you go to the next part and she starts scribbling things out. She starts writing with pencil. So it's like, yeah, things are always changing that's one thing we know for sure and what if that wasn't a problem how is that okay you guys aren't commenting there's 16 of you i feel like i'm alone in the kitchen what's happening for you tell me tell me tell me shannon how was that i never heard from you Okay. 
Joy here. I'm going to go to Joy, but say hello. If I don't hear any comments soon, we're, we're wrapping it up because I need to know that this is happening. That lands so well. Okay, good. Okay. Anyone else needed to hear that you're worthy? Yes, the expansiveness. Yes, very true from Steph. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay. The only thing that's constant is change. Yep, that's joy. Good reminder from Nikki. Thank you. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. I know it seems like crazy, but um, I really like it when this feels like we're literally together in the kitchen. Um, Joy, can the DOLs, I love it when you guys call them DOLs, can the DOLs help with clarifying the difference between listening to the mind and tuning into the energy? Wow, that's going to be fun. I can't even imagine. Ooh, we need Diane. I feel bad. I always leave her out because she's a little awkward. That was that was not body shaming. Okay, so she's just harder to twist. But she's got so much wisdom, it's crazy. All right, so let's see. I'm going to pull a card for Joy. Clarifying the difference between listening to the mind and tuning into the energy. Woo. Oh my gosh, finally we got this. Oh boy, this is great. I have no idea what they're going to say about this. Joy. <laughs> Everyone's going to be really happy, except for Karen. You might not like to hear this one because this is definitely not clean eating. Tuna onion casserole. Woo. Look at that. Anyone notice anything kind of interesting about this? Hmm. So, oh God, now I know. So, notice this. Notice this. What they're pointing out to me right now is that the tuna casserole is on this side. This is, you know, oh, actually... Oh, no. I was like, oh, no, there's no cream of mushroom soup. And then I get down there. It's like condensed tomato soup <laughs> um, and in the French fried onions. Woo. Um, okay. So this is the mind. Tuna casserole is the mind. The mind is a list of ingredients. Very limited because why? The mind is only holding what it knows up until now. It's only holding the ideas, the stories, the computations, the um, experiences up until now, up until now. When you're listening and tuning into energy, that has no limits. That's about the space, right? The space. So the mind is the mind. The energy is more of a, I would say, it's an awareness. It's something where, um, and you can ask your body. You can go, okay, is this my mind or my my am I tuning into the energy? Usually one way that helps me is that I get into my body. So if you imagine like taking an elevator from your mind, do, 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 do. bring your awareness down here and the difference between listening to the mind and tuning into the energy is that the mind if you go into thinking and if you have to go into thinking about something you'll often notice your eyes will go up to the side or something like that your eyes will go and you have to effort there's a, a little bit of an effort, little or a lot of effort. It's slower. The mind is slower. Awareness is instant. And you may just, it's a sensing, it's a sense. So if you go into the butter, so it's like bake at 350 for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, make 
biscuits rings for the top. Can you feel how heavy and slow that is? Margarine, butter, tuna fish, and soup. Baked. Wait a minute. No noodles. Surprised. I thought there were noodles in tuna casserole. Well, wow. okay. Interesting. Oh, I guess it's the biscuits. That's where you're getting the light starchy part. Anyway, that's kind of funny, right? So this is like more. So, so think of this as like tuna casserole. And then this is like, ha, huh, space. Who is that? I mean, I can't remember where I pulled this card from. Oh, Diane. God, she has some pretty intense. I kind of want to pull another one from Diane. Okay, tell me if you posted a question. I didn't see it yet. Oh, Nikki. Okay. Ooh, dear DOLs, what advice do you have? I am getting closer to putting up my live dating profile and I'm starting to second guess and get nervous about that step. Mm. Yikes. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to use Diane again. Um, okay, Nikki. Who else is on that? Like going from what I call phase one to phase two where you're, you've done some of the healing work already. Now you're moving in. Oh my goodness. Midwestern chowder. Nikki, look at how cute with the like fish and chicken and steak. Okay. Karen, I hope you're not having a heart attack. These are so, yeah, this even has processed cheese in it. Um, okay. And tuna. Okay. Whoa. All right. This is funny. Corn and tuna. Um, okay. This is a rich all American chowder. Okay. Well, what they're giving me in this is that, yeah, I'm getting the sense of a, a paralysis feeling like a real, like, like your eyes are moving, nothing else is moving. So whatever that is that, uh, whatever that is, that um honestly this is kind of crazy but i'm really getting a sense of external like not external but like like family stuff in your space so will you please destroy and uncreate everyone else's ideas about relationship anywhere where you're afraid that you're going to have you know maybe what i don't i don't know if it's this or not but there's just the sense of um something it feels very much like mom energy like really heavy mom energy that's in the space that's either saying like you're not good enough or that you don't want what your mom had or um you're afraid that you'll have what your mom has like tell your mom we're just basically this is about return to sender return to sender return to center anywhere where you have aligned and agreed with your family's points of view around dating and love and relationship anywhere where you are trying to prove against it or for it or something else will you please destroy and uncreate that anywhere where in this lifetime or any other lifetime you have, um, you know, sworn off being in a relationship or made an oath or a vow or a promise or a contract that said, never, never, never again, will you please destroy and uncreate that? All of the judgments and limitations and um, distractors in the space right now, will you please destroy and uncreate that? Because it's like all of these funky things coming together, of course, it's going to feel heavy. I mean, I'm feeling judgment immediately when I see this card because I'm going, oh, my God, tuna and cheese 
and corn. Yeah, that's why you don't want to date. Or that's why it's like having a little yikes moment. And then when you can get rid of everybody else's things. Yeah, of course. Anytime you do something new, it's going to be um, different for your body. So there may be some. But good news is I have your back. And to me, sometimes this is a time when it might be good to do a regenerating images and memory session. We can do, do that and clear that out. So if anyone else has felt that level of potato, corn, tuna, and cheese in a Midwestern chowder feeling, then um, message me. It might be time to do some one-on-one. -on -one. But we're doing that anyway, so that's good. Okay. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyone else feel a clearing from that? Yes, Joy is about to go to phase two. Deborah, okay. Mandy has a question. Okay, let's go up to Mandy. Deborah, did you put a specific question? Um, boy, Mandy, okay. My question for today for the DOLs is how do I, how do we practice patience and all things working out for me? in love and in business let's see what they would say i mean abigail whoa interesting hmm huh. This is so cute. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm coming back down to your question. So patience. This is really hilarious. Okay. Um, Oz Ozanas. Ozanas. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea what that is. These pecan tarts are named for a little town in West Texas. Butter, cream, cheese, flour, brown sugar, butter. What? Oh. Vanilla, pecans. Put them in a toy size muffin tin. Mini little muffins. Cute. These little pecan tarts, these sound amazing. And it does say, okay. Um, interesting. So it says to carry for the weekend, leave in the tins maybe made a couple days in advance okay so they're just talking about baby steps is that even it does that even answer the question it's just like you've you know what if this is this moment is what you've been asking for so where have you not been acknowledging that you have arrived in your love space in your business space today what have you already um, arrived to at this point? Because it can be easy to go like, I have to get here again. And we have these goals out there. But what? when was this your goal? When was this moment your goal? Are you willing to celebrate this as achieving the goal and having gone, had the patience to get there? And then you keep just taking incremental steps, following the energy, moving forward. Yeah, oh, yours was the same as Nikki's, cool. Oh my gosh, Deborah, yes. Deborah, we need you in the group. Um, so, so Nikki says, I have to think about the family thing. I don't think there is, but there could be. And sometimes it's just like a general social pressure. Like, oh, I'm this age. I should be in this place or whatever it is. There feels like there is an external pressure coming in, Nikki. Okay, but I'm here with Mandy. So Mandy, they're acknowledging just keep going, keep going. But they also want you to acknowledge that this today is the dream that you were asking for in the past. Yes, does that make sense? 
Deborah says definitely my family. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Mandy, how is that? You are a brilliant creator. I wonder when you asked for what you have right now. Okay. All right. It's 1030. This might be it. Oh, yes, Joyce, notice the blank on one side. Mandy's here. Yes, this moment is the dream I've dreamt in the past. Yes, exactly. When did you pray for this? And then you get to keep creating. All right. Well, I hope no one feels left out. Awesome. Okay. Whoa, everyone. Okay. So those of you who are in the five day camp and you did all five days, if you haven't told me that yet, please tell me so I can put you in the raffle. I always hand it off to laser beam Larry and he picks out of the hat and puts it together in a list. And we have a lot of prizes. So, you know, there's a really good chance you're going to win something because I have almost as many prizes as people at this moment. So, hey, people who are like, oh, I'll probably never win, then, um, yeah, let's, let's try. Um, okay, that and um, those of you who are – who are ready to join in community, take this deeper. A lot of you are already in super loved, which is awesome. If you're not, this is the next step. This is where you stay in this consciousness. Notice how good it feels to have new perspectives, new points of view, getting out of the heaviness, the lies, the fears, the stuckness, so that you can actually go, okay, wait a minute, what, what else is possible for me in my love life and get that accountability and support. So message me if you want to hear about super loved. I have all these URLs and I start forgetting them, which is annoying. But what is it? Oh, yeah. Get super club. Get super club. You can go to that and actually see the super love journey. Oh, my assistant made an amazing graphic for this. So you can see that. Go check that out. The other thing is, for those of you who have been in the five day and you've been so good, um, you know what? I had the I have a I have the bonus vault and I had a little game that you could play, a little puzzle that you could figure out. And guess what? I don't like games. What am I doing playing these games? I don't want you to have to play games in your relationship. So screw the games. Here it is. Go to happyinlove.club, happyinlove.club, and go get your bonuses. Go get your bonuses. There's some really fun things in there um, that are going to help you. They're good to have in your toolbox. So download them, save them, um, use them, take them. There's classes. There's a blueprint. There's the predate pep talk, which is super hilarious. Um, and no matter what, you can use the predate to pep talk for anything like you want to go on a job interview listen to that before like it's really great for all the things so um happy in love dot club go there if it doesn't work message me because i had tons of technical difficulties um but there you go like we don't need to play a game i don't know what i was thinking i i really like that i made it way more complicated than um i needed it to be and if you weren't in the five day you can still go get get some stuff, but I encourage you to watch the five day if you haven't, you know, if you've been in this group for a long time and you keep coming back and coming back and coming back, what's it going to take to actually get you to the next level? If you aren't moving there, let's have a conversation. Let's figure it out. I have a million ways I can support you. Okay. All right. See you soon. Bye everyone. Thank you.